Well, since I'm starting a new recording session near the ship, we might as well go turn in that quest that we just completed. Well, as far as you guys saw, the one we just started. Uh, I think that's right here. Yep, view completed missions. Ow. Oh, did we get it? No, we didn't. That's fine. Uh, defending Duratar gives us Zandalari Empire commendation. It's a longer one. That's fine. Uh, melee troop. These are melee troops. I don't understand exactly how all this stuff works. Like last time, these didn't show up as melee. Oh, it's saying it's countered by melee. So that's why these showed up last time. Well, that works for us. Oh, we're not having any chance at a bonus roll. Well, that's fine. We have a 100% chance of at least succeeding. It only costs 40 war resources. We'll do that. And I doubt our other guys can handle this on their own. Oh, this one counters... That, but I still don't think it's enough. Now 65% and they'll lose their hearts, whatever that means. So we'll not do that. I don't think it's worth it. Okay, now we'll return to start doing our quests. Go try to figure out what's going on with Torga. The Tortolan Loa. Well, I don't know if he's necessarily only a Tortolan Loa, but at the very least, he's a uh, Loa that the Tortolans talk to. Do you want something? Okay, so Zobal Ruins. Okay, so the guard was level 70. Does that mean level 70 is the max level? I don't know, that stuff's changed so often. I know they did a stat squish at some point. Especially when I think the max level is like 130 or something like that. And they tried compressing everything because the numbers were just getting insane. I don't know at what point in the WoW's history that is, so I can't necessarily try to calculate what the max level would be now. That's fine. I mean, eventually we'll get to a point where we just can't level up anymore, and that'll be max level. Up until then, we'll just do what we can. seen any quest icons pop up so that's good a lot of herbs though and that's probably the same named guy that we've killed a dozen times for some reason his or not named guy but rare spawn it's obviously not that rare uh, we want to 
highlight this one. The Torga, the Turtle Loa. We'll gather these herbs since it's near here. Get some more star moss. And maybe more star moss. Now this is probably... Now this is Siren Song. Now we'll head off this way. Oh, I wonder if this is the same guy on the pilgrimage. Probably not. And this should be a little buff for us. Versatility increased by 10%. Don't remember what versatility did. I don't know why they had to change stat names and stuff. Okay, yeah, this is just the Tortolan pilgrimage route, it looks like. Got a chest off that way. It looks like it's on the same level that we're on, so I don't think it's up there. We'll stealth over. Open it, and then if we need to, we'll dash away. Are you a named guy? Doesn't look like it. Oh, these guys don't seem very friendly. You might be a named guy. You are. Guarding the chest. Wow, I say named guy, but I actually don't think it's a guy. Probably take care of this totem. Now oh, they actually have decent stats. It's not just a one hit kill on the totem. Throw some heals our way and just ignore the totem. Might be able to move out of range of the totem, but I don't know what the totem's ranges are. This will work just as well. Oh, they actually... Oh no, it was AoE damage. I said, do they share a health pool? But no, I was just being dumb. We'll go ahead and get our three stacks of this. Since that doesn't seem to go away. Uh, oh, this must be the chest. No. That, just drink that to make herself bigger for a minute. Okay, where's the chest? Oh, there it is. In the table. Probably supposed to be under the table. We could probably... Yeah, this is fast. Fast enough. They didn't slow us down, so they can't catch up. I was wondering if we would have to dash. Oh, and apparently there's another named guy up there. a gorilla. King Kuba. Oh, that mud ability sucked. Luckily, we don't have to depend on 
seeing or moving around. Spam our heals. Or not heals, or damage. And if we need a heal, we have one prepped and ready to go. Oh, I think that lowers our accuracy a little bit. So we missed with the moon fire. Yeah, this should go down relatively easy. Actually, position mm -hmm. herself so he can't just knock us off the wall and then reset his health or something. Mm -hmm. Something crazy. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and use our. Oh! Mm -hmm. Some mud trousers. Let's see how that compares. Yeah, we'll get 10 more armor, intellect. We'll lose a little mastery, but we'll gain haste. Oh, these are hands. I thought they're mud trousers. They're actually mud tossers. And then, yeah, no other gear at the moment. That's definitely an improvement, and I'll take it. And we happen to be near Starmoss. Perfect. And although that was a small detour, we're still relatively close to our objective. Guess we our objective is to talk to Keisha. Do you really need to talk to me? What do you want? Can't you see I'm in the middle of pilgrim pilgriming? Uh, Lashk said you could tell me where I can find Torga. Or should I talk about pilgriming not being a word? Well, maybe it is a word, but the fact that they're just standing there. We'll go ahead and just say that Lashk sent us for the quest. Ah, uh, what do I look like? A tour guide? I'm just here to listen to Torga's tales. Look, just keep going down this road, don't wander off, and you'll find Torga. He's a giant turtle. Hard to miss. I might as well get moving before someone else comes along asking for directions. Well, thank you very much. I guess I'll go this way. Because there's another named enemy. Oh, and another herb. Got us some river bud. Oh, there's the named enemy. Scout Expressness. Set her some heals soon. That'll just build us up towards our next uh, bonus heal. Well, he didn't have anything good on him. That's fine. We still haven't quite learned what the red areas mean. Oh, we gained another level from discovering an area. It's convenient how often that happens to be the, the cause. Check out this herb, and then put in our talent point. 
that should unlock the bottom tier of the resto tree once we spend a point. We'll just double check, see if any of these require two points. Depending on the change that they put into uh, effect. So far it doesn't look like it. Oh, Harmonious Blooming does. And that'll start putting us down this tree, which has a lot more abilities than this tree did, or this set. Should be fine, though. It's also an ability we don't really use too often, because we don't spend... Oh, that's a... I'm surprised we did not get attacked while just standing there in our menu. Because that would have been bad. He looks like a strong one. This is another buff. Critical Strike increased by 10%. It's an even better buff. Torga's Rest. Another area discovered. Pretty soon we'll have to go through our map and try to find anything that might be a fog of war and uncover it. it looks like there's a few, but that could just be map texture and stuff. That's fine, actually. There's also a couple flight paths we'll have to find. But that's more once we feel like we're done with this area. Oh, you need a mark of the wild. Come back. You're faster than I am. There you go. It's nice of him to stop. How could this have happened? Aloha dead. All of Torga's story is gone forever. Torga! No! Who would do this to Torga? He only wanted to tell his stories. I will tell you who. The blood trolls. Follow me. We will make them pay. Oh, well, we're not getting help from Torga. Times change, and so must the Zandalari. This is the work of the blood trolls. I am certain of it. We will get to the bottom of this. May your vestments be adorned with the skulls of your enemies. Oh, we already gave him one. Okay. Beseeching Bonsamdi. We must talk to Torga's spirit and find out exactly, or what exactly happened here, and how we can stop it. Hmm. You mentioned that you are linked to Bonsamdi now. It is time to test that link. We need Bonsamdi to get us Torga's spirit. Summon Bonsamdi to ask for his help. May Bonsamdi see your enemies before he sees you. I am ready to try and summon Bonsamdi. Zandala will endure. Let me guess. Hmm. You want to speak to the soul of poor Torga. I do. <laughs> How about a deal, hmm? You bring I the soul of another lower, then I get you Torga's spirit, eh? We are not going to play this game, Bonsamdi. You want a lower spirit? Hyrik has already been killed. You go get that spirit. You got a little fire in that belly, Telanji. <laughs> But me help I go cost you. Okay, I think they're done talking. I fight to protect those who cannot protect themselves. For better or worse, we have Buon Sandy's aid. Let us get to the killing. Loa, watch over you. I feel something dark and powerful being summoned into tusk or in the husk of Torga. You need to stop it. There must be a summoner using Torga's blood to finish a ritual. Do what you can to stop them. I will stay here to keep these Tortolans safe from the Blood Trolls. Kill Summoner Yars. And we'll get one of these rewards. Which our feet look like they're the lowest. And we'll get the biggest boost from. Vengeance for the Fallen. And a Torga. Bye, go. Or, I have things to do. A Tortolan has a quest for us. Dread Tick Combustion. This whole thing is crazy, you know that? I don't think any story could top this one. Bah! Do you hear that insufferable sound? So stupid dreadtick sucking on Torga's meat. Makes my skin crawl. What, you can't hear it? 
Meh, trust me, they're around, and they need to be taken care of. Here, take this scroll. We've had to deal with these dumb insects in the past. Read it near them, and it'll cause them to explode. Blow up five dread tick leechers with Lashk's scroll of combustion. Have any good stories? All right, that all looks like it's up this way. Oh, there's more quests here. At least according to the mini-map. Oh, Buon Samdi himself. Another dear, another dear. Souls for the Death Loa. Dare be blood trolls swarming all over this place. They'd really be picking Torga clean, even eating his meat. That be dark, even for me. The souls of these blood trolls be corrupted by eating a Loa. Something you should be remembering for future reference. These souls be worth a lot to me. More than just the normal souls of these blood trolls. Give me the corrupted souls of these blood trolls. And I be calling the spirit of Torga to you. Claim de ten blood troll souls within Torga. <laughs> well, look at that. The others are finally getting off their shells to come down. About time. I thought we were the only ones who cared about Torga being dead. Kisha, Lashk, we're gonna take care of these pests chopping up Torga. You should stay and help us figure out a plan. The blood trolls are too much for you to fight. Ah, you're not the boss of anyone. We need to teach those butchers a lesson. Those things will be the death of you. They're nastier than the blood trolls we encountered on the last pilgrimage. Ah, what do you know? Stay here if you want. We're going ahead. I know every inch of this area. Fine, see if I care. Ugh, he acts like he built this place. Well, I imagine they're gonna need rescue in at some point. So we need to keep our eyes peeled for any other quests that might be around. Oh wow, we are literally inside Torga. Uh, how close do we have to be to use a scroll? Closer than this, apparently. This close. Ah, uh, we can just click on them, too. That works. Oh, we actually have to kill these blood trolls for Juan Zombie's quest. Also, our regrowth stacks do go away after time. Because it's already kind of gone away. I know we had a few of them built up. Well, that might have been a mistake. Our Sunfire. That works. Yeah, our Sunfire kind of caused that one to aggro. We're still able to get it off, though. It also must have had a pretty good buff because of our gear, because these guys do feel like they're going down easier. Uh, let's see if we can't pop this one. And then take on this Hexer. I just didn't want the uh, AoE dot to hit the other tick or whatever. Easy 
day. Give yourself a little regrowth. Probably not kill too many more until we approach. Oh, that's what they're doing. Okay. Start with summoner yards. Oh, that's right. They're blood bolts. That's just what they cast. Blood terror is probably the one I want to interrupt. Well, I can only interrupt it so many times. Just leave the dot on. I don't think we can do anything about him right now. Although it sounds like we really should. Okay, I think that, yep, counted her loot. And it looks like there's a group of blood trolls. Okay, we need one more blood troll. Which looks like that hexer there gets to be the lucky winner. Sorry, had to put it out of its misery. It took a little bit of damage from our, our AoEs. So, I don't know what happened to those Tortolan that were supposed to be helping. Nothing popped up from them. So, what brings you to visit lonely old one Sam? Good. I'd be collecting all their souls now. Don't you worry now. I'll never be far away. We are too late. Or we are too late? Then we can only hope Torga can help us destroy whatever it is that you saw. Uh, let's go with the boots. Zandala will endure. Pop those on. We'll trade stories next time. I can rest a little easier knowing there are fewer of those things in the world. Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Hey, we're friendly with the Tortolan Seekers. <laughs> now, Buon Samdi. Oh, 
you make a little time for me. <laughs> you be living up to your part of the bargain. I'd be ready to show you what remains of Torga's soul. I'm gonna need a little part of you to act as a conduit to be summoning Torga. Don't worry, I'd be giving y'all back. Mostly. After we be done, I'd be heading out. You're always welcome to call me again, but only if you got another deal ready. Ask Bonsamdi to summon Torga's spirit. Shoot! Remove ya. And now the best part, killing people and getting me more souls. Bonsamdi, we're ready for you to summon Torga's spirit. See you, Torga! Your spirit be needed here. Walk your head out, your shell, man. Princess Talanji, the blood trolls power jungle with my remains. Destroy the camps surrounding my corpse to weaken jungle. Seems easy enough. Maybe. There is much to do. Speak quickly. We may not have Torga's aid, but we can stop whatever the blood trolls are planning. May your vestments be adorned with the skulls of your enemies. Ugh, what is it? Okay, you want to kill the Herald of a Blood God? We can figure something out. There's corrupted, corrupted blood nearby that's feeding this monster's power. Lucky for you, I've heard stories of this sort of thing before. Take this scroll, but be careful with it. It'll destroy the corrupted blood that's feeding Jungo. Oh, and I need you to find a scroll Holbrook was carrying. Call the Scroll of Fate's Hand. It's really powerful. We'll need it. Destroy eight corrupted Loa's blood with the Scroll of Purification. And recover the Scroll of Fate's Hand. Cast someone else next time. I'm guessing that's we one of the... We need to find out what else the blood trolls are up to. Lashk, Kisha. Do you have anything that might conceal our efforts? Of course. I've got scrolls older than you are. Kisha, have a look through my stuff. Ugh, this could take all day. Princess, you don't realize how many scrolls this old timer has. Let's see. Scroll of eternal return sound right? No. Did you even bother reading it? But... Uh, keep that handy. We'll need it when we're done with this mess. Oh dear. This one looks like it's written in the old gods language. Where did you come across something like this? I never told you that story? Oh, it was amazing. Let's see where to begin. Focus. This is not the time for stories. Fine. Hmm. Here it is. Scroll of Invisibility. This has to be it. Ah, I knew I had that somewhere. Now, this'll keep us hidden enough to sneak around the blood trolls. Just stay close to me. Good. Time to move. But remember, stay quiet. The last thing we need is you two getting captured. All right. We also picked up a bonus objective. I imagine they'll just disappear like everything always does. Yeah, I don't think we actually need to do anything with that. It was just some story beats, that kind of stuff. Okay. We'll just kill everything since it's the bonus objective as well.
Apparently I just have to hit it once to get some credit for it. Okay, probably rescue this guy. So these were all the captives went off to. Tried getting out of the way. Didn't work quite so. Oh. Did manage to get myself all tangled up there. Oh, there's another captive. Your bone's gonna serve us well! Fortunately, the more we venture that way, the more out of the way we are. But we can still manage to do a few things while we're here. Oh, uh, there's actually a lot of dead Tolans around, too. That's unfortunate. Man, somebody's been busy around here. Killing things much faster than I can. Because there's like no guards for any of this. Oops. It wasn't ready, and then it was, but then I moved. on top of all this. Oh, the quest is below us. Of course it is. Well, we might as well get this taken care of as well. Since we're here. Oh, literally right down here. Guess and that's oh, there's Holbrook's scroll. Okay. So now we just need to rescue more Tortolan and such. Thwart the Bletral plans, probably by killing them all. I don't know if these guys count for important plans. But since they were wounded, I figured it was an easy easy kill.
And we get meaty haunches for all this. I think this area right here will be just enough to let us finish off our objective. That should put us over. Indeed. And a level up. And we're level 50. Okay, so druid points. Mass entanglement. Roots the target and all enemies within 15 yards in place for 30 seconds. Damage may interrupt it. Or Ursula's Vortex. Conjures a vortex of wind for 10 seconds at the destination. Reducing the movement speed of all enemies within 8 yards by 50%. The first time an enemy attempts to leave the vortex, wind pulls the enemy back to its center, usable in all shapeshift forms. That actually sounds pretty good. Apply changes. Put that down here in V. Probably open fights with that. And... I actually might give that a test. Ah, oh, we need to put it in V there as well. Not a bad ability. Oh, it's got a cooldown though. Pretty good one. Yeah, so it's not the most powerful thing, but it just leads to further unlocking stuff down below. So it's worthwhile. Also, there's an herb over here. We'll go faster to get to it. Oh, and another named enemy. How nice. And our cooldowns will be ready just in time. Mangrove Shore. You're not the guy. Oh, do I talk to you and Step something closer happens? and don't mumble. Greetings, sir and or ma'am. Maybe it's underneath here. No. You're not it. Like, I hear a noise. Oh, here it is. Ow. He's also a ranged guy.
that ability works even less with a ranged guy. That's fine though, we're doing plenty well. No, that's actually not the guy. Or is it? I didn't even look to see if he had a thing next to his name. That's a quest guy. Oh my goodness. Well, that was a waste. But I'm also more confused. That and yeah, on the map it shows, or the mini map it shows it's up above, like literally right here. Step closer and don't mumble. Oh, he's also a quest NPC. Greetings, sir, and Lord. none of this makes sense to me. Okay, there's a chest over here somewhere. Or at least there was. Okay. Up. Might be able to run up this thing. According to this, it's even higher still. Uh, and of course, we're in combat. Alright, let's kill this thing. Definitely didn't need the vortex. But where? Ah, oh, there's the chest. It's just a matter of trying to get up here. Oh, oh, no. Uh, there we go. Please have been worth it. Eh, maybe. Probably not though. So this is where y'all went off to. What do you want now? Did you get that scroll and deal with the corrupted blood? Yes. All done here. Good. Looks like the Herald was weakened by what you did. And you got the scroll. Be careful. It's ancient. Holbrook always talked about how powerful that scroll was. We're going to see if he was right. Took you long enough. I got some good news and bad news for you about this whole quest to destroy the Herald of Cahoon. Bad news first. There's an entire army of skeletons between us and the next area. I'm guessing they use Torga's blood to animate them. Good news is that scroll you recovered from Holbrook can summon the powerful hand of fate. And the bad news is that the scroll got damaged when Holbrook died, and is only good for one more use. Meh. Take this scroll and destroy that skeleton army. Use the scroll of fate's hand to summon the hand of fate, and destroy 50 undead along the blood coast. We will receive the Band of Destiny. Which will probably end up releasing, or replacing Foot Bomb Championship Ring. That's fine. We'll gain, we'll lose mastery, but we'll get a lot of crit strike and haste. Well, a little bit more haste, but yeah, that's fine. All done here. We had best move on and see what else the Blood Trolls are doing up ahead. You know, I think we might actually kill this Herald of Cahoon. Oh, this has the makings of the best story ever experienced by a Tortolan. Avenging Aloha and killing the avatar of some monster. Alright. Let's use a scroll hand's fate. Kill these guys. Zulders ah! are gonna fall! My sisters! Avenge me! Your bones gonna serve us well! Ah! 
Yeah, I'd say this thing's plenty powerful. Well then, that was eventful. Oh. Let's see if this named enemy can be killed. Or is even there. Oh, and an herb. Okay, this might be dumb. Those younglings uh, don't take nearly as much damage as I thought. Trying to utilize that's not working so well. going to go down eventually. There we go. Hey, we got some more gloves. Raptor Patriarch gloves, huh? Oh, it's got a prismatic socket. Interesting. And it's slightly better than the last gloves we got. I don't know if we have anything we can put sockets into yet. Okay, I think these are all downgrades and such. So I'd say ultimately that was worth it. But yeah, I don't know what sockets are for. Maybe that's one of the new talents that I'm not familiar with, or professions. Ugh, what is it? I saw the destruction from here. Hmm. Maybe I should try to fix that scroll up, you know, for future use. Took you long enough. Oh wow. They all have a quest for me now. First let's put on this ring. Which is right here. Yep, it did replace that one. Princess Solanji thinks we're almost ready to kill this Herald of Cahoon. Maybe she's right. Maybe we're all dead, who knows? What I do know is the blood trolls here are are carving and carrying away parts of Torga. Ugh. From what I can tell, they're using the poor Torga's meat to power their blood rituals. This has to stop. Get out there and steal those pieces of meat from the blood trolls. I'll figure out a way to dispose of it. Recover six parts of Torga from the blood trolls. 
pester someone else next time. Don't be in such a rush. Look, Ryan Knight, I'll be happy once we've killed this Herald. We can have things go back to normal. Until then, you need to deal with these monstrous blood trolls called Skull Crushers. Lovely, right? As far as I can tell, these things have some sort of connection to this Herald. Might be why they're so huge. You kill these Skull Crushers, and maybe we weaken this Herald a bit more. Or maybe it gets even angrier and kills us all. We'll have to see. Kill four blood Skull Crushers. Keep it down. Zandala forever. Sanctifying ground. We are so close to weakening this herald, Ryan Knight. This is our final push. The nearby area is brimming with blood magic. While you were fighting, I was working on creating totems that can cleanse the area of blood magic. Take these totems and place them nearby. They should drain some of the blood magic out of the area. The herald should be weaker enough for us to actually kill after all this. Place four sanctifying totems down in the area. Vengeance for the fallen. Come, we must be prepared to destroy the Herald of the Blood God. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. And I'll be right behind y'all. <laughs>